Hello and welcome. This is another series of Cloud Study Jam. If you attended the previous series, the baseline data ML and AI, you will see that from this Cloud Study Jam, we have two labs that we headed also on the previous one. The AI platform Quick Start and the Cloud Natural Language API Start. So, I'm not going to redo these uh, two lamps, only the other three. It's going to be an introduction to machine learning and to the language processing. When you start, this quest will be great for you, but for me it's color because, as you can see, I have finished all five steps, and they are five steps. Maximum hours it will take you, it will be four hours, and you're going to get charged 13 credits. So let's go. Okay, I have uh, entered the entity and sediment analysis with the natural language API. It will take us uh, 40 minutes and uh, we are charged only 5 credits. Over here, we need to finish uh, 100 points again. We need about one time to get the resources for this lab. The Cloud Natural Language API lets you extract entities from text, perform sediment and syntactic analysis, and classify text into categories. In this lab, you will learn how to use the Natural Language API to analyze entities, sediment, and syntax. So, instead of learning NLP by yourself and uh, reinventing the wheel, you are uh, just getting the Natural Language API, which is created by Google's engineers and uh, they are working now for you and you are going just to pay five credits for uh, your application that you are going to create over here and what we are going to learn how to create the NLP uh, extract the entities, run sediment analysis on text and the natural language API perform linguistic analysis on text create a natural language API request in different language so let's Copy that, open the console, I'm working already on private mode for you. You can go over here, right click and go and open it. So I'm pasting my student account and the password that I'm given from Quick Labs. Okay, this is the credential, the credentials that we need. <coughs> Accept. Over here, confirm but it doesn't matter because uh, we are working with the student account and not our real account. This is the platform. Over here, we need the last pop-up. Agree and continue. So now, this is the Google Cloud platform. And over here, it is uh, the lab. We are going to change from the lab to see the instructions to Google Cloud Platform. So let's scroll down. We have already done all of this. And now we need to activate Cloud Cell. So let's go back to Cloud Platform. Over here is the active activate Cloud Cell. Cloud Cell is a Linux Debian persistent disk of uh, 5 gigabytes, I think, with a lot of things pre installed for us. and it's ready it is recommended by Quick Labs to write the code but for instruction for the Cloud Sandsum purpose I'm just going to copy it and paste it and we are authorizing it so what we did we want to know what's uh, the active account and as you can see it's the student over here and it's exactly the same with this one and now I want to check on which project I'm working on this project which is this one okay these two code these two lines they are going to save you from big trouble please always use them in order to have the correct account and to work on the correct project. Otherwise, you are going to destroy uh, projects 
and if it's going to be only your side project it's okay but if it's going to be from your company please be careful so now we need to create our API key so we go to the navigation menu I am admin no sorry API and services and go to credentials we need to create API key and you can copy it and paste it on uh, Word, on uh, Notepad but I just close it because it's already here and now we can check our progress as you can see we get the green tick and over here now we got our first 40 points okay so let's go back and click on the navigation menu and go to the compute engine we will see that an instance is already created here for us I don't need that so let's click on the SSH what we'll do here is we are going to export our API key and uh, we have to go back to the credentials over here copy it and paste it let me check export API key if everything is correct and press the enter great now it says here that we are going to use the following settings and to do that we need to create a request a JSON file so copy it and paste it and uh, we open the nano so let's copy the code and uh, paste it over here great now uh, click the control X button then the Y button and then enter so we created a request a JSON file and open it with nano we put uh, inside the text that it's over here and now we are going to check our progress it's okay over here and as you can see we have 70 points now we are going to call the natural language API and we can do this with uh, this code it's uh, mainly Linux so please try and learn so we can paste it over here and now we are going to get to check the response okay let's dismiss that and go back Okay, so we have pen names and this is the percentage of uh, it's, uh, what's going on and how sure it is. JK that it is a person. Uh, British it's a location. Father series it's a work of art. Harry Potter work of art. And we can also go back, sorry, scroll down and see over here what the uh, salience means, mentions. We can check our progress. 
it's okay and we have finished if you want now you can just click add lab and uh, it will be credit to you but uh, we have more things to do over here so we can open again our nano and uh, let's change everything inside here Control. Oh, no. Let's open it again. Let's delete everything from here. Now copy this one, paste it, great, control X, Y, enter, and now we will send the request. So over here we say Harry Potter is the best book, I think everyone should read it, and we get back this request of Harry Potter I think everyone should read it the score is uh, very high the score is uh, always from 0, 1 to 1 where positive is good and negative uh, shows the sentiment that it's not good and we have these results if you continue we can analyze the entity sentiment over here so let's open again our nano and just delete everything paste I like the sushi but the surface was terrible Control X Y Enter and now let's call the analyze entity sentiment. Okay, so let's scroll a little bit up. We have Susi that is a consumer good, and we are 51% sure about that. Susi, we are with 0.9% uh, that it's great while for the service we get a 0.9 score and it's correct because over here we say that I like the sushi but the service was terrible also we can analyze the ducks and parts of speech so again let's open our nano delete everything paste the new one control X Y enter and now let's call the API, the API of analyze index method paste it great As you can see, we have the same, the same results. And let's scroll up. You can see everything and parts of speech, producer, film. And we are analyzing everything over here. And you can see also how it's uh, working the NLP for you now, noun, verb okay, everything
the head token also we have uh, the ability for uh, multi-language uh, natural language APIs process over here and you can see the full list of uh, supporting languages so let's copy it and open again our nano delete everything from here and we are going to paste the new one Control X, Y and enter and now we want to analyze entities and we get back that uh, this is a location probably I don't know <laughs> and that's it now we have finished everything We'll scroll up as you can see Chrome and Firefox as I told you in the beginning so what we did we saw that uh, with uh, the API key we can uh, have an entity analysis request called the natural language API we can have sediment analysis with uh, the analyze sediment endpoint we can analyze the entity sediment we can analyze the syntax and the parts of speech and all that without uh, writing any part of code but just using the APIs that uh, Google's engineers have created for us so now let's add the lab And if you go back, you will see that it has a green tick for you over here. Next steps. After finishing each lab is a good tip always to go and read the documentation of the tool of the technology you have already used on Quick Labs. If you want to learn how to use Google Cloud Platform, how to work with Google Cloud Platform, how to prepare yourself for the Google Cloud certification it's a good tip always after the lab to go and read the documentation it will help you a lot, believe me this time and for all this quest uh, we are going to work with uh, the cloud speech let me show you ok, over here the, with the cloud speech API so you can go to cloud.google.com slash speeds dash to dash text over here and you can see everything the benefits that you have how you can use over here speech to text and uh, also you can see the JSON that you want the streaming, the keys, the customers that are uh, using it uh, the documentation and you can open them and read everything the use cases and uh, other features at the end there is the pricing everything you need to know so thank you for watching this video See you on the next one.